Dave, how's the week gone generally? It's gone all right in terms of this build up and uh, obviously started a, another little successful run. Yeah, it's, it, you know, the, the, the days of training, the days of training, and we, we're working on to develop the players and one I am every Saturday as well. And, you know, we, we come round thick and fast, you know, but, you know, we, we, we want the games at the minute, so we've got a Virtually a fully fit squad by one or two, and we've had operations, so we all know about them. Um, and you know, we, we want the games to come. From that point of view, no real injury problems. What about the operation? Has that been successful? Well, Chucky's had his shoulders operation, and looks like he's stopping the bus because he's externally rotated and he's fixed in that position. <laughs> um, and Harry had his operation yesterday on his hernia, so he'll be back in three weeks, four weeks. Five weeks, something like that. I don't, I don't know, but a, a normal hernia, and that was fine. Um, Trigger's shoulder had a little bit bigger tear than what, we, or what the surgeon consultant initially thought, but he's fine. He's and they're both on the road to recovery, so you know we, we'll, we'll look after them. They'll get a bit of time with their families um, between now and next week, um, and then come in and, and start working to get him fit. You know, hopefully. The last few games, something to play for. That's the, so really that's the benchmark for both of Man U, isn't it? Really to try and maybe get them into the uh, final couple of games of the season, and maybe a run out. Well, yeah, that's it. You know, it's, it's the same with every single player in the squad. You know, we're hoping. You know, the, the aim for us is to have something going into Grimsby. Um, it's a long way to go. I have a long way to go, and we know what we need to do. There's no, no blurred lines, no ambiguity. It is what it is, and you know we're all in that. We're all in the same boat, and we've got to make sure that happens. It's great to be in the position you are, Dave. I know we will well, continue to talk about maybe if, buts, and why bees, um, but certainly it's nice to be going towards the end of the season in the final furlong with something to aim at. Well, yeah, that's, that was the plan in you know August, and with seven games to go, that's still the case. Um, you know, that, that, we hope that that's the case. For all seven games. And I suppose if you look at it really generally within the league, bottom, top, even the middle, there is that sort of running where everybody is still maybe thinking about, you know, there's a lot of points at stake, we might make an effort here. Yeah, it's, it's a good league this year. You know, I, I, there's no one, you know, with seven games to go that are, that are stuck. You know, everyone's got something to play for. You know, I saw Michael Duff's interview yesterday and he's saying, said after their victory last week that they're safe. And that, 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 that might be the case. They might be the, the, the example where, or the, the, the exception where they, they haven't got a lot to play for, but everyone's got something to play for. Um, you know, whether that's just league position. And we're, we're in that boat. We're in that boat. And regardless of what we do over the next two or three games, every game's got something on it, but we hope that we've got, it's got a real big prize on it as well. So, um, you know, it starts tomorrow. Um, and we've got to make sure that we continue our good home form. When he went into the job, Michael Duff, obviously inexperienced, his first ride at it, if you like. Uh, he was obviously, well, their team were in trouble a bit. He straightened it out and he's taking that as a, as a gimme that they are safe. I mean, they're probably close to it anyhow, but he'll still want to finish on the high, won't he? Of course he'll. Of course he'll. You know, it, if he wins the next seven games, then he'll have a really successful season. Loses the next seven, then you know, he'll be in a precarious position because that's the nature of the game. <laughs> and so there's always something riding on him, but I'm not particularly fussed about Cheltenham or any of the opposition we face between now and the end of the season. It's about what we do and we know if we play well and we, we, we play to our levels, then we've got a great chance of winning every game. And, and that's what's got to be 